Hello everybody, my name is Walter and welcome to another uh, welcome to another review for you. I know it has been a long time since I've done, done a review for you, but I just watched um, Infinity War and I have to say that was pretty epic. I mean, I know I don't sound it, but I, I'm just quite like fizzled out by the movie itself because like um, overall like I want to start with the the just you know a bit of the flaws because I, I do feel like this movie drags on a little bit like there's a lot of scenes where there is a lot of spaces in between and I know that's for the audience to kind of catch their breath and everything because it does throw you into an action pack um, sequence in the first act because there's a lot of action uh, there's a lot of fighting and there's a lot of things to be set up before the end but as the end drew closer and it was like the second act um, nearing this the third act it was getting a bit draggy and I and I could really feel it because I'm just like okay I I do enjoy the visuals don't get me wrong the visuals were really something to behold and I think the Russo brothers did a really good job uh, in um, doing that and uh, the CG has gone a little bit better and I just love their uh, lightning effect for some reason because when Thor came back uh, in uh, he was awesome I mean like the whole lightning effect man when when that lightning effect came on I literally shouted what the fuck because that is like super super good and I really I really enjoyed that fact um, I I don't know if I should do spoilers. Maybe I should do spoilers near the ending because um, I don't think I can do a review without you know spoiling some stuff. Um, because essentially, this movie has been built over uh, a number of years and it's a decade. And the opening was a really cool way to pay homage for the fact that uh, Marvel has been doing this for ten years. Um, I was just surprised at some of the the plot twist that they took and I and I'm really glad when I'm when I'm surprised because I, at first glance I thought only like a few people would die but they really did not mess around when they said half would go so um, I'm not gonna really touch upon that until I reach the ending of my review so uh, when I reach my ending of uh, the uh, review, I will say spoiler alert, and then you know it's your cue to go. So um, the other things that I really enjoyed about Infinity War was the fact that um, you know there was a lot of character interaction, and what I mean by this is, of course, you're gonna have you know people talking to each other but the, i think their personality and their chemistry really works off of each other and i don't know what happened um but i, I think it might have been a strong possibility that it was my government's censorship of certain scenes but um i felt like there was a jump cut uh, when um peter quill was talking to Iron Man and this was in the trailer um, you know uh, the build up to it I felt like there was not enough build up because you know they were kind of going I think they were gonna go back and forth for a while maybe it was the ad lib was too long and then they decided to cut it personally I, I don't know uh, I'll have to check with other people whether they have that similar problem with because uh, if I go to a cinema like I, I will notice if he cuts like uh, sometimes my own own um, you know edits I don't really want to do that but sometimes you've got no choice and I, I fully understand that now uh, but I think this is a bit too like obvious um, like some other cuts is fine like you know the whole background uh, flashback kind of deal was really good like I, th I thought that was a really good well done thing and they really stepped up with their red hues. I really enjoy that red hue color palette they used when um, Thanos was uh, collecting the reality stone. Um, and I, you know, the you can go into this movie already kind of theorizing it, uh, but 
obviously don't go in like thinking they're gonna follow the the comic book because you know they they did did follow I think some of the comic books, but um, I don't you know whenever it comes to adaptations I don't I always say don't expect it to follow it hundred percent maybe seventy percent but like even then like you know you you gotta you gotta always compromise with uh, with with certain certain adaptations and certain genres of things um and i i really feel like this movie showed me how a good uh superhero big coming together can be done because essentially what they've done is they've uh, meshed everything together but it feels like it's not just crammed together maybe some parts you know you could see it but uh it's not very obvious is what i'm trying to say um i think the ma- i thought the makeup was really good um the cg was a little bit obvious on some of the characters but i still i still found it okay nonetheless i think my eyes are just getting used to the cg nowadays uh, i don't notice it as much but um uh some of the the camera work in this movie can get a bit grating because it's like i don't i don't really personally really like shaky cam and what like certain like thumbs in the movie and then the camera kind of wobbles kind of make you feel like it, it's supposed to be that way like you're supposed to feel the ground shake i i did didn't really like that because i was like it feels very disorienting is what I'm trying to say um, I thought the acting was really good like I mean they certainly portrayed the the whole awkwardness from Civil War because they've, they've brought that back into play because uh, Bruce Banner has been away obviously so he doesn't know what happened uh, in that time space um, and um, to be honest, like I think, for his arc, Bruce Banner's arc is is really interesting to see him interact with, like the uh, two people that you know he's been friends with a long time, and he doesn't know he or he hasn't been filled in on what happened. Uh, you know, in the past. I think even like Thor isn't fully. Uh, rung in on what happened in Civil War um, but I do enjoy the fact that they don't dwell on that you know it's just it's just him going like it makes sense as well because um, I think he kind of pieced it together um, and the deaths in this movie is very very logical like if you if you know movies like I do and like really enjoy story I think this is a very story driven character death and what that means by that is as the story progresses you relate to your villain um, because he does uh, he does explain his rhetoric uh, and I think it's a very understandable rhetoric this is a rhetoric of a, a Hitler type but it is not to the point where it is a hate to a certain group it is just the hitler mindset where i think you know hitler was trying to equalize things as well and that's not me defending hitler but it is that psychology uh where you know and and it's the joker type of uh analogy as well where if you create enough chaos and it's also the racial goals actually you know and if you create it, and that's if you create enough chaos um then everything will kind of equalize or balance out by people you know getting in and helping on and everything so it's very anarchist um type of deal uh and um i just have to say like the visuals for the second act and third act really got better and i was like this is so much this is so much to to enjoy and you know um, consume with your eyes because 
for me and a lot of other people as well, uh, film is a very visual medium, and that's why I really enjoyed um, Koi no Katashi, which is a silent voice. That was a really visual uh, storytelling uh, wise and storytelling uh, structure. And I think, you know, the Russo brothers have uh, really grown up with this movie as well. Like, they've really stepped up their game and they're not, you know, fucking around, whatever. Uh, so, because, like, there's a lot of things that, you know, where I could say, oh, you know, that's just half assed or whatever. But in terms of the layovers, and that means, like, um, in terms of the arcs over the years. It really, really has come to a point where you gotta say, yeah, Marvel really thought things out because there is certain things in this movie that will make you really, really sad when you really think about it. And I'm coming to the end of the review, so there's definitely going to be a spoiler. So if you don't want spoilers, please leave now. Now is the time to go get out of here uh, because and I say that because um, why you will feel very sad when you think about it is because you have to bring up um, the first Avengers where Loki brought in all the Shitauri and the Titans uh, to New York and they, they destroyed um, they destroyed New York almost killed Tony Stark and has been hunting him since. Then you had to bring up Age of Ultron where the mother of a certain like Slovakian or whatever that place was uh, that uh, you know she lost her kid whatever and she, she came to Tony Stark and was like why did this happen blah 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 you know this is this is not the way it should have been and then it all comes together in a certain part of this scene I don't really want to spot because I, I don't know how many people stayed you know um, so it all comes together in the uh, the, the late second act uh, the, the late second act late third act as well because it starts to hit him uh, what this all is building up to and the fight scene between him and, and uh, Thanos is, is really cool um, and what it like what it is about this movie that really gets to me is that they can really really understand what it means to have an ultimate goal but essentially having to sacrifice some things and I think essentially this is what all like great people have to do uh, you know great artistic artistic people have to sacrifice their leisure time for their passion you know great uh, actors have to sacrifice certain relationships for better relationships um, s certain you know music uh, you know certain artists certain painters certain whatever that is in a certain genre have to make a big sacrifice so that they can be greater and this is what the infinity war is about essentially the overarching main theme is sacrifice um, and I really really love the ending uh, and I'm gonna spoil what Thanos said only what Thanos uh, only what Thanos and an interaction of some sort took place where it's the third act everything is done and uh, they go uh, they go Thanos sees someone in his vision the person asks did you do it? He answers Yes. The person asks back what did it cost? And you can see the pause and it's a very like tense pause. 
and Thanos looks down. He's very. It's all in the facial expressions. And he looks wistfully at this person and says everything. And it just turns black. And you just feel the weight of everything that had happened. And that is one of the greatest scenes in a superhero movie and that to me really speaks volumes and really tells me that the Russo brothers really wanted to make sure that we feel something and I and I really felt that even though I'm not a big superhero fan I'm, I'm not a really big Marvel fan I'm not a really big you know fan of these superhero movies anymore or any longer because of Justice League whatever um, it had come to a place where it just hits you home and it and it all makes sense because of all that has happened uh, in the past movies the standalone movies and it all comes together now for the like post credit sequence as well I thought they were gonna do something more epic than they did but I do enjoy the um, the little easter egg that they left for us and I'm not gonna tell you the easter egg you have to figure it out yourself but I understood it um, and uh, yeah I you know I said I would spoil things but I, I don't think I should because I think that this is a movie where you should go and you should experience the magnitude not because of this the size whatever of how many people it's coming but the magnitude of emotion because there are a lot and I'm not gonna spoil anything but I'm just preparing you there is a lot of deaths um, and whether or not you want to go well you know how many is he talking about you know a lot is very very subjective but to me it was a lot like because on a, even in the first act there was already some deaths so there you go um i would honestly rate this movie an 8 out of 10 and i i was gonna rate it a 9 out of 10 but the pacing was just really really slow and it reminded me of the last jedi where you know there there was a scene where it took its time and I felt like it could have been cut out done with and put other stuff to kind of make sure it's moving along and I understand why it it's two parts because honestly it really makes sense when I mean you have these capable directors that that made, made a good storyline already with with uh, Civil War and everything and and you come into to play with um, you know this Infinity War right now and you have to say comparing Civil War to Avengers Infinity War I would definitely 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 pick Infinity War over Civil War mainly because of the visuals and the heartfelt storytelling I really feel like they were going with everything that the comics you know were portraying and also doing their own thing um, and I just I just really can't go get over the fact that I was so touched by this movie because usually in an, uh, usually in a superhero movie I'm just expecting to be entertained you know at the bare minimum um, but it changed my perception and I, I'm, I'm not I'm speaking truthfully I, I wasn't really hyped about this movie uh, I wasn't really going into this with much expectations it was a very low bar for me so there are some things that I, I found okay you know that's that's just that's not I don't think it should have been in there I thought you know some things should have been 
dealt with quicker I thought that you know a lot of the bickering that was happening could have been dealt with you know if you know if not for a lot of their ego um, but in a in this superhero storyline that they've built up for generation a generation um, or a decade you know I consider that a, a generation already because it's 10 years um, I do think that is just such a good way to say goodbye to some of your heroes um, and whether or not you're ready to accept that or not they don't care I mean certainly there is gonna be a Deus Ex Machina in the next one where they're probably going to defeat Thanos again uh, but for the time being I definitely I definitely enjoyed this movie and I'm like, I, I, I still stick with my 8 out of 10 I would I would definitely I don't know how to feel about these things because I don't know I, de I definitely recommend the IMAX experience that's for sure because the visuals alone I was like I I can't not recommend people to go to the cinemas for that reason alone because it is just so beautiful it is just so good to like look at um, there was some there was some humor uh, there was some humor obviously um, there was some funny twists I, I'm not gonna say what twists there were um, and there were there was a giant dwarf that is very familiar uh, and uh, for the for the Game of Thrones fans um, he's the hand of the king and if you don't watch Game of Thrones then you don't know what that means and you have to find it on your own but uh, for those who watch Game of Thrones I'm sorry that I kind of spoiled something but he doesn't really play a big part that's why I gave that away there's a little easter egg as well and a ninja joke so you have to know who the hand of the king is or the queen sorry hand of the queen um, so yeah uh, that's about it uh, I, I would I would definitely recommend the IMAX experience go watch it in IMAX really get the feel of it uh, and you know a lot of the Justice League I'm just gonna address it a lot of the Justice League fanboys would jump on my ass because I said that they did the red hues well in this one and to that point I say as long as it's not in the sky I'm fine with it because like it makes sense in a place of freaking metal that is melting it's red duh it's not because of some weird ass villain that's causing the red sky that doesn't make sense okay uh, and the original was supposed to be the blue color palette ending as on, on trailer said and that, was, that looked so much better I was like that looks so much better I would have been fine with that um, but yeah, other other than that, no, just no, no Justice League fanboys, please, just go watch Infinity War. It's a thousand times better, and I really think you can skip Black Panther. I'm so sorry, but I I didn't see the point of Black Panther. Like, really, with Infinity War, I would have been fine not watching Black Panther, but maybe is is just for to introduce more. Uh, Chadwick Boseman which I don't mind um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching my review uh, if you liked it please leave a like and if you would like to see more please be subscribed to my youtube channel and for more notifications please ring the bell ring a ding a ding because youtube loves to unsubscribe people I know so remember to go to my daily motion and follow me for more full reactions and all that I'm, I will be returning to to uh, 
Breaking Bad and all that uh, hopefully this week as well um, and uh, yes thank you guys again for being subscribed to me and if you haven't subscribed so I will see you guys in the next video hopefully soon see you then Thank you.